What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. Let's get to... Uh, Let's get to Clint Kubiak then, as he met with the media yesterday, and we'll just start on. Uh, we'll start with Coops one here. What is? Is it? Hmm. Am I crazy or no? It's who says I love it when a plan comes together. That's guy from the A team, right? I think so. For some reason I was thinking it was Joker, but I'm pretty sure that's the guy from the A team. Anyway, Clint I mean, Kubiak. Maybe the Joker says it too. I don't know. How can you tell when an offense is coming together? Well, I think it's stupid to say when we line up against Carolina, we want to see where we're at. You know, we, we want to be at our best in that in that first game. I think uh, I think that we're really demanding of these guys, and we expect it to look to look right the first time. You know, and is it going to be perfect? No, but uh, that's what we expect as coaches, and we're trying to be really detailed as coaches and be hard on the guys. Um, I am pleased with our progress. Um, we're heading in the right direction. Now, so much of this uh, comes down to Derek Carr. Clint Kubiak, how do you feel that Carr has adapted to your, uh, your, your offense thus far? I can't say enough good things about Carr. Oh. From this, the way he studies, oh. the type of professional he is. That's he's very coachable. He's hard on himself. He's hard on his teammates. Yep. Uh, he's got the demeanor you want. I mean, play it again, Alondra. Play it again. I can't again. say enough good things about Carr. From this, the way he studies, the type of professional he is. He's very coachable. He's hard on himself. He's hard on his teammates. Oh, uh, yeah. He's got the demeanor you want. Damn. Bro, come on, dog. Come on, dog. That sounds top 12, guys. Hold on now. You tell me Clint Kubiak's our, our, our savior, our, our sole hope in the darkness, and you're just going to ignore when he tells you that Derek Carr is everything he wants in a quarterback? I talk about it all the time. Like, like George Bush. You ain't going to fool me twice. <laughs> okay? What? Ain't going to happen. Until he goes out there and shows me in game number one. And again, I want him to because that means the Saints are good. That means that this show is going to go in a great direction because if LSU and the Saints are both good at the same time, I want to be proven wrong. I just don't think I am. Um, and certainly from quotes from training camp. Coop said, what's he supposed to say? Coop said he's hard, he's hard himself. Like, oh, yeah, his eyeliner was running today. He just he's, he's not a great quarterback, not the leader that we thought he was going to be. Gosh, I mean, when he got pressure, he just turned into a different quarterback. It was all bad. Uh, I, I, I actually would love that if he. Um, no, I mean, uh, he he do, he he. You don't. You're not going to say Carr is bad, but you also don't have to be that effusive. I don't think you do personally. Me, I mean, I've seen a lot head coach, of answers. Head, a head coach, maybe not, but a lot of coordinators will give you that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I still no no that's an awful that's no yeah. no exactly no. um like you said Harden coach Harden himself and then Fon says Harden fans want to support him mm. uh okay guys okay he's hard uh, on himself Zach well, Trosky says you he poor must Saints, hate himself last year you poor Saints fans fall for it every single year yeah guess what I'm like I'm like that goofy meme I'll do it again okay gosh Nick their car's gonna be great this year I don't care. Okay, I believe that somewhat. Um, I don't think somewhat. I mean, you you put something pretty significant on the line. No, I mean, even even uh, testicular gamble aside, I, I I I do think we've gone too far the other direction. I think we've gone too far the other direction potentially. Um, would, on says training camp, everyone's there. a superstar, but I mean that's not true, you know. Penning's still not a superstar. The offensive line's still actually not playing that well. Um, what? A.T. Perry's got to work on some yeah, stuff. Yeah, A.T. Perry's got to work on stuff. Kendra Miller's got to work on stuff. Yeah, we're talking about a third and a fifth round pick to the quarterback that you gave a lot of money to. Mm -hmm. Same mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, let's let's jump ahead. Uh, we just talked about Taliesi Fuanga. Here's Clint Kubiak on his impression of his new left tackle. I'm impressed with Tally. Um, the guy is is all football. He doesn't say a word. He works. He works hard. Uh, he's hard on himself. Very similar to the way I described uh, Derek Carr. So oh. I'm pleased with where he's at. Um, he's he's the kind of guy we want to be to be the culture that we want to have. Um, we just got to keep getting him better. Bro, I mean, ten wins, man. Ten wins on the way. Book it. Let's go. 
He's just like Derek Carr. You heard him. You heard it right there. See? He's definitely not just saying the same empty platitudes about I mean, people. we could take these words. Uh, Derek Carr is being compared to a rookie. Yeah, exactly. Because he still has the youthful exuberance that it takes to relate to the younger players. That's a good point, Jake. I hadn't considered mm-hmm. that. I mean, that's what I want on my quarterback. A leader of men. He's got to be able to connect on multiple levels. Maybe they're running NCAA 25 games or something after Maybe. practice. Um, Maybe. <laughs> hmm? Okay, okay, let's put it to the test. Let's put it to the test. He was asked about Trevor Penning. Okay. Here he is. Here he is on this is the test. More of the same. From the start, Trevor's been he's been buying into everything we've coached him. We've been really p- pleased with him. And uh just up front, there's a lot of great leadership there. It starts with Eric McCoy and guys follow Eric's lead. And uh Trevor has is off to a good start. See, that's different. That is different. It's still positive, but that's fake. Buying in, good he start. Said, okay. He immediately went to McCoy and the rest of the O line. Like that's different than how he talked about Fuanga. That's different than how he talked about Carr. Yeah, he said, you know, McCoy's a great leader, and uh, you know, Penning's there too. Yeah, that's yeah. basically what he said. Like, okay, now give me the Chris Olave. See what he says about Olave. And I hope he keeps working hard after I give it to him. But I, I've been pleased with with his growth. He's really he's really dialed into yeah. the details, and and Coach Dub. Is a, is a heck of a coach. It's been really fun working with Coach Dub and seeing how he pushes Chris. And Chris wants to be a great player, and you can tell in the way he practice. Looks like he hates Chris Olave. Well, I don't know. No, I mean, uh, look, I, I I do think that <laughs> Ryan says this, Trevor Prady's great. You know, uh, Eric McCoy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that basically was the answer. All right, off of the players for a little bit. Um, Click back. How do you get your team to understand? This is a uh, six, Alondra. How do you get to your team to understand that it's not just all scheme in order to be a successful offense? I think it's as simple as, okay, when the, when the clicker stops, all right, and it's man coverage, who's open, all right? Even though number one in the progression didn't get the ball, you might not have got the ball, it might not have been designed for you, but on the opposite side of the field is, is your comeback winning, and we're, we're evaluating that as coaches. So uh, that's, what we, that's what we talk about in meetings. Uh, and finally, which one should we do here, Alondra? Uh, dealer's choice. Which one do you think is, is it? Getting the offense to understand a new offense, uh, attention to detail. What do you think? The attention to detail one is a little interesting okay. because he talks about how Dennis Allen is very detail oriented. Okay, hit it. It's it's a it's it's Rick Dennis and it's John Benton. I mean, those veteran coaches, uh, they it starts with them. Okay, and all of us coaches are trying to trying to be hard on our guys, not be satisfied. And it comes from Coach Allen too. Like Coach Allen is the most detailed coach I know. He's hard on us as coaches for us to be detailed with our players. So um, that's just that's just the culture that Coach Allen has here. Hmm. Culture and Dennis Allen are not two things that have been mentioned too often, um, too often together. So we'll we'll see you guys. But there it is. You you hear from Clint Kubiak a little bit more. Uh, I love what I heard out of Taliesi Fuanga. And uh, DA continuing to apply some public pressure to some of these players. And kind of why not, right? He's got nothing to lose. If he needs to call out a guy and try to – give him a little extra motivation, then uh, do so. Because uh, your ass is on the line this year as to whether or not you're all are good. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.